Hi everyone, welcome to today's presentation. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. Today we have a question on longitudes and latitudes. The question reads, an aircraft took off from a point P given by the coordinates 65 degrees south, 76 degrees west and flew due north to a point Q. The distance between P and Q is 5,400 nautical miles. Determine the position of Q. We have to locate the position of point P. P is on 65 degrees south, 76 degrees west. We will begin by having the reference points. We have got the equator at 0 degrees. We also have the prime meridian at zero degrees. P lies on latitude 65 degrees south, that is to the south of equator, and then 76 degrees west, that is west of the prime meridian. So 75 degrees west, sorry, 76. 76 degrees west. So where the two meet, that is where we'll have point P. Now from point P, an aircraft took off and flew due north. It moves due north, due north, that means that it will move along parallel of the longitude 76 degrees west. And we don't know how many degrees it covered. And therefore we don't know whether it is to the south of the equator or whether it's going to be on the northern part of the equator. What we are going to do, because we have identified that it was flying along the longitude 76 degrees west, we can therefore say that the distance which already given us 5400 nautical miles can be obtained by having theta times 60. Remember, distance along a great circle in nautical miles is given by theta times 60, where theta is the angle difference that is between point P and Q. Dividing both sides by 60, that should give us 90 degrees. What that means, when the plane flies from point P to Q, it moves a total of 90 degrees. As we can see, this latitude here is 65, 65 degrees south of equator, and equator is at zero degrees. So when you move from zero to 65, that is still less than 90. From P up to the equator, that is 65, and we need to move through 90 degrees. So 65 is still less than 90, that means the plane was still flying that direction, and therefore we can try and locate it somewhere here. Therefore, for the plane to move from 65 up to that latitude through 90 degrees after the equator, how many degrees were added to this particular latitude here? That is what we need to determine. As you can see, we'll get that angle difference, what is remaining here, by subtracting 90 minus 65. Here we have 65 and what is remaining to top up so that we have 90 degrees for theta, that is what will give us the latitude. We are interested in this latitude here. We'll therefore say the latitude is obtained by having 90 degrees minus 65, and that is 25 degrees. And because it's to the north of equator, then we'll say 25 degrees north. But this is not yet the position of Q. The position of Q would give us the ordered pairs. So we'll have latitude, comma, longitude, and the latitude we know is 25 degrees north. The longitude, remember, the plane was moving from P up to Q. Q now is here because we already have this as 25 degrees north. So it's on latitude 25 degrees north and longitude 76 degrees west. And finally we have 
the position of Q as required in the equation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.